where I work in laboratory of subsolar structures analysis. And today I would like to tell you about our recent work, which is about circumventing the Crabtree effect in cancer cells. And we achieved this by forcing oxidative phosphorylation with the galactose medium. And uh, then I will tell you how it all affected the action of the purine derivative, which is kinetin riboside, on cancer cells and on mitochondrial functioning. So I will start from a few basic information about uh, cancer cells metabolism. And uh, in the end of this presentation, I will explain you how the small compound, which is anti-metabolite of adenosine, can influence the bioenergetic of cancer cells. So as we all know, the metabolism of most cancer cells, those one cultured in in vitro conditions, uh, <clears throat> relies uh, basically on the anaerobic glycolysis. And this was uh, for the first time observed and discovered by Otto Warburg. Even in the presence of oxygen, mitochondrial respiration is suppressed, and this is the probable mechanism by which cancer cells uh, can escape apoptosis and promote high proliferation rate. The Warburg effect is uh, characterized by a few major features, which are high rate of glycolysis, lactate acid fermentation, decreased mitochondrial function, as well as decreased cell respiration, and finally, aberrant redox activity. However, like most cells in the body, let's say normal cells, there are some kind of cancer cells like hepatoma, breast cancer, glioma, which were found to possess functionally efficient mitochondria, uh, where the majority of ATP was derived from the oxidative phosphorylation. And recent studies have also shown that those particular cancer cells are able to switch their metabolic strategy alternatively from fermentative to oxidative, and this is termed as a Crabtree effect. This effect is frequently compared to the Warburg effect, but in contrast to the anaerobic glycolysis, it's short-term and reversible. It's based on glucose-induced inhibition of cell respiration and oxidative phosphorylation, and also it's more helpful in adaptation of cancer cells to rather microenvironments. Still, the mechanism by which cancer cells can undergo the Crabtree trigger uh, remains unknown, but there's one of the hypotheses that suggests that some of the glycolytic enzyme, like mm, <clears throat> pyruvate kinase, can compete with the mitochondria for free cytoplasmic ATP. Unfortunately, the Crabtree effect is uh, very challenging because it's a reason for my, of mitochondrial drug resistance and it hinder with the testing of chemotherapeutics, especially with those one with the potential effect on mitochondria. Mitochondria play a crucial role in uh, regulation of cellular energy metabolism. And as you can see, they take part in a variety of metabolic functions in cells, like for example, production of ATP, cell signaling, activation of apoptosis, a reactive oxygen species, and finally, they participate in the switch between glycolysis and oxbose during oncogenesis. That's why recently, many strategies have been developed uh, to target mitochondria, including compounds uh, which can disrupt electron transport chain or apoptosis pathway, and finally, rose homeostasis. Discovering new therapies against mitochondrial impairment is very challenging with many limitations associated with the susceptibility of cancer cells to the treatment to the drugs. Metabolic plasticity of cancer cells, like for example, activation or the Crabtree effect is beneficial for cancer cells because it provides a micro environment that promotes cell growth, especially in in vivo conditions. This might be a cause of the mitochondrial drug resistance and be a huge obstacle with the potential drug testing. That's why determination of the affected metabolic pathways might be strictly associated with the response of the mitochondria to the fit treatment, and finally lead to the activation of the intrinsic apoptosis pathway, which is related to the mitochondria. The common mammalian cellular model used to identify mitochondrial dysfunction is human liver carcinoma cells, termed as a HEPG2 cell line. And it's widely used as a primary model for investigating mitochondrial disturbances and for toxicity drug testing. 
because it possess a large number of the mitochondria and also the ability to easily trigger the metabolism according to the microenvironmental conditions. To overcome the limitations of the Crabtree effect and study the drug-induced mitochondrial toxicity, remodeling of energetic metabolism of cancer cells must be conducted. And the common strategy to increase cancer cell toxicity is the replacement of glucose with the galactose in the culture medium and as the one and only oxidizable substrate. Because cells then rely, uh, cultured in glucose, rely mostly on the oxidative phosphorylation and become more sensitive to the mitochondrial toxicants. Low molecular weight compounds can also affect the activation of the cellular machinery through direct effect on mitochondria. And in our work, we showed how a specific compound, which is kinetin riboside and purine derivative, affect cancer cell metabolism and its bioenergetics by interfering with purine metabolism. Purine resides analogs or antimetabolites are an important class of drugs used in the treatment of cancer. Kinetin riboside was shown to selectively inhibit proliferation of cancer cells, and it also stimulates the apoptosis of cancer cells through the intranistic uh, pathway related with mitochondria. We also observe its effect on the reduction of the cell viability in HEPG2 spheroids after incubation with kinetin riboside after 48 hours. And uh, with the very high dose of this compound, we can see that effect is very potent and the dead cell is stronger than a uh, number of the dead cells is bigger than in living, uh, than living cells. And uh, even with the uh, lower concentration of kinetin riboside, but also after 48 hours, you can see that cell spheroids have already lost their outer layer compared to the control cells. The mechanism of kinetin riboside action within cancer cells is very complex, but today I would like to focus on one of the major pathway of purine biosynthesis, which is the selfage pathway. As you can see following entry into cells, kinetin riboside is phosphorylated by adenosine kinase to the kinetin riboside monophosphates. Then we observe depletion of ATP, decrease in mitochondrial membrane potential and rose production, what finally leads to the cell death through the apoptosis correlated with the mitochondria. In our work, we created simple experimental pipeline and extended previous observation about anti-cancer activity of kinetin riboside. And we performed series of experiments comparing the effect of this compound in HEPG2 cells cultured in both glucose and galactose medium. And we showed its enhanced effect in conditions forcing oxidative phosphorylation. Uh, kinetin riboside is an analog of uh, adenosine, so we wanted to prove that it also can of influence the mitochondria functioning, even in, in the indirect way. And this study also helped us to understand the mechanism of cancer cells resistance for the kinetin riboside treatment. Our goal was to compare whether galactose medium, which forces and enhances oxpose, affects cell sensitivity to kinetin riboside and provides greater and more rapid effect than glucose medium. That's why we firstly examined real-time cell proliferation by using the exelligence system, which allowed us to show that the Crabtree effect is a short response of cells to adverse environmental conditions. And as you can see, the cells cultured in galactose medium were more sensitive to the anti-metabolic kinetin riboside. And we observed a significant value of HEPG2 uh, HEP cells compared to the glucose medium. Apoptosis and necrosis are two major processes leading to the cell death. To investigate whether kinetin riboside induced uh, apoptosis in HEPG2 cells, we perform flow cytometric analysis and kinetin riboside affected cells proliferation in dose and time dependent manner. And after six hour incubation uh, with increasing concentration of kinetin riboside in the galactose medium, the percentage of the apoptotic uh, cells 
increased to almost 36% compared to the control cells. And uh, whereas in glucose medium, the effect were uh, lot less pronounced and uh, visible only after 24 hours. We also prepared confocal microscopy analysis to compare live and dead cells after kind of chemoposite treatment. And the effect was similar as this one we observed through the uh, flow cytometry analysis. I also want to show you a short video movie which presents how Hep G2 cells uh, cultured in galactose medium and treated with kinetic mybosite undergo apoptosis in the real time. This experiment was very quick and I wanted to show the apoptosis effect uh, during 15 minutes process after induction of a very high dose of the kinetic mybosite, which was one millimolar. And I perform uh, here the hollow tomography uh, with the NanoLife. And this is very convenient because as you can see, we don't have to use any dyes to observe this kind of processes. And in the end of this uh, movie, you will be able to notice uh, bubbling apoptotic bodies after kinetic mybosid treatment. To determine the number of the mitochondria from Hep G2 cells growing in galactose and glucose medium, we use MitoTracker Green, which localizes in mitochondria regardless to the mitochondrial membrane potential. And low cellular toxicity of kinetin riboside is observed in cells growing in glucose medium, which was evidenced by the lack of fluorescence intensity shift. Were, and uh, in galactose medium, after 80 micromolar kinetin riboside, uh, the degrees of the fluorescence intensity was observed and correlated with the degrees in mitochondria number by almost 30% compared to the control cells. We also uh, performed confocal microscopy analysis of this uh, experiment, and it revealed the mitochondrial fragmentation after kinetin treatment compared to the untreated control cells. We also use the fluorescent analog of glucose, which is 2NBGD, uh, followed by flow cytometric detect detection for the real-time quantification of glucose uptake the cells by cells treated with kinetin riboside growing in both media. The effect was visible and observed only in Hep 2 cells growing in galactose medium, and the higher concentration of kinetin riboside was uh, the more pronounced was glucose uptake, and this finding correlated with the increased fluorescence intensity shift of the dye. Um, by using this analog, we showed that its appearance in galactose medium immediately forced cells to undergo glycolysis, and also it suggests that cells selectively undergo the Crabtree effect when cytotoxic factor like kinetin riboside appear in the cellular environment. We also characterized the metabolic phenotype of Hep G2 cells growing in uh, using Seahorse Extracellular Flux Analyzer. And in this system, mitochondrial respiration, OCR, is used to evaluate oxidative phosphorylation uh, and extracellular acidification as a glycolysis indicator. We compared the values of OCR and ECAR in both culture environments, glucose and galactose, and which indicated the higher potential of cells for the ECAR in glucose and higher utilization of the oxygen uh, in galactose. And this might be an evidence of that Hep 2 cells growing in galactose medium increased their oxygen consumption capacity through the enhancing oxidative phosphorylation. To determine and for the last time confirm which of the metabolic pathways is affected by kinetin riboside, we perform once again apoptosis necrosis assay in Hep G2 cells growing in galactose and also in glucose medium, additionally supplemented with the glycolytic disruptor, which is 2 deoxy glucose. And as you can see, following NG2 cells, 2DG uh, blocks the first step of the glycolysis on hexokinase level. We observe that the apoptotic effect of kinetin riboside is faster and more effective in cells growing in galactose medium with enhanced oxpose. The 2DG inhibitor was not toxic to their cells in cell, but when kinetin riboside was added, apoptosis was also observed, which was not as significant 
as that observe and help you to cells uh, growing in galactose medium. The difference between those conditions and after induction of the highest dose of chymotomyrosid was about 20%. The previous results demonstrate that viability of Hep G2 cells uh, after kinetin riboside treatment is strictly related to the induction of cell death through the intrinsic apoptotic pathway. Thus, all the subsequent experiments were performed exclusively using a galactose enriched medium. The mitochondrial membrane potential indicates the vitality of the cell and its reduction leads to the apoptosis. We investigated the influence of this compound on the changes in mitochondrial redox state of Hep G2 cells growing in galactose uh, medium after six hour treatment. The cells were stained with a common cationic dye, JC1, and the changes of the mitochondrial membrane potential were analyzed through the flow cytometry and microscopic confocal. A CCCP was used to create a strong single positive green fluorescent control, what is correlated with the depolarization of the mitochondrial membrane potential. Cells with the high mitochondrial membrane potential promote the formation of the dye aggregates and emit red fluorescence, like in control cells. Cells with the low mitochondrial membrane potential contain more JC1 monomers and emit green fluorescence. The polarization of the cell membrane is associated with the degradation of the mitochondria and increased green fluorescence, as you can see after kinetin riboside treatment. We confirmed that six hour treatment with kinetin riboside decreased the mitochondrial membrane potential and the higher ratio of the monomers to aggregates is the stronger and more evident mitochondrial impairment we observed. ATP is energy carrying molecule in living cells and its level is important determinant of cell death. And it's known that kinetin riboside can disrupt the energy balance in cells through phosphorylation by adenosine kinase, which is crucial for its toxicity. We also showed in response to kinetin riboside treatment in galactose medium, uh, Hep G2 cells can uh, undergo uh, extensive apoptosis, uh, which is likely a direct consequence of the rapid decrease in the cellular ATP level. And we also observed uh, a decrease in ATP level, uh, and it was detectable within two hours and dropped over 56% in cells exposed to the highest dose of kinetin riboside. It all suggests that the rapid and pronounced ATP depletion is an early consequence of kinetin riboside exposure and leads uh, to the loss of the cell viability. And finally, we proved that kinetin riboside in galactose medium triggers cell death through the apoptosis, not only by the disruption of the cellular ATP generation, but also by the induction of the oxidative stress. In response to kinetin riboside induced energetic stress, intracellular ROS is formed with a significant depletion of the reduced glutathion in Hep G2 cells. We also analyzed the mitochondrial oxidative stress induction by kinetin riboside in Hep G2 cells using flow cytometry and confocal microscopy, and the red fluorescence mitosols of the dye is triggered selectively in the mitochondria in the presence of superoxide Producted during kinetin riboside treatment. And our analysis revealed that 80 micromolar kinetin riboside uh, induces superoxide production in the cells, an increase of approximately 30% in fluorescence intensity shift. By using complementary cell bay assay, we investigated the effect of kinetin riboside on mitochondrial functions. And we show that this compound in oxpose state is more potent apoptosis inducing agent. It lowers mitochondrial membrane potential and causes efficient depletion of ATP and decreases the level of reduced glufathion and also induce rose production. We have certainly shown that indirect effect of the kinetin riboside in the mitochondria and such a fast path provides opportunities to further explore this topic and analyze the cascade of enzymatic reactions through uh, pathways of apoptosis or another oncogenic pathways. And our findings suggest that metabolic plasticity of most cancer cells is a challenge in testing putative drugs uh, that induce mitochondrial impairment. 
but our experimental pipeline was not designed to test the clinical effect of kinetin repulsate, but to show that galactose in the culture medium makes us more reliant to the oxidative phosphorylation, and there be, they became, become more sensitive to the potential mitochondrial toxicants. Thank you very much for your attention during my presentation, and thank you to all of my colleagues from the Laboratory of Substellar Structures Analysis. I'll be happy to answer to all your questions. Thank you very much once again. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, if anyone had any questions, please drop your questions in the chat box down below so that uh, Dr. Uh, Martha or Linka Plokha will be able to answer all your questions. I repeat, if anyone had any questions, please go ahead. You can drop your questions in the chat box so that it will be answerable, be answerable by Dr. Martha or Likha Blocker. I repeat, if anyone had any kind of questions, please drop your questions down below. Okay. So